Welcome to the Gain Seeker Platform Library video series. Today we're going to look at a few of the features of the dashboard for the Audit and Compliance Kit. I'm going to go ahead and open up Gain Seeker Charts, open up Dashboards, and go into the Production Audits. All right, so we looked at a few of the features of the dashboard in another video. Today we're going to get into the, some of the analytics you can find on this dashboard. So as we showed you before, the green assessments means that it's been completed. Yellow means that there's open issues. So uh, these are buttons that actually open up um, some more information. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here. We're going to see that for this month, there were two assessments done. And you can see the auditor that did it, the department that they were in. Um, you can also add other columns to this uh, to show other information. I just went with this for now, um, but you can definitely customize it and make it show what information that you want to see. Go ahead and close that. Next up here, we see there are two open issues for, out of these two assessments. So I'm going to go ahead and click on View and Resolve Open Issues. So you'll see here um, a little bit more information. I put the, the auditor name as well as the question that failed and whether it's resolved or unresolved, although this list is filtered for uh, unresolved issues. So. Um, and then if there was a note entered, you can also see the note. So I'm going to go ahead and double click one of these um, records just, just to show you how you can set it to be resolved. Um, click over here to traceability change that to resolved and I'm also going to add a note here to say we took care of this issue and I'm going to go ahead and save that record again so now you can see it switched it to resolved uh, my note got appended to it um, and if we refresh the dashboard here I'm just going to hit F5 you'll see that that now that it's resolved, that issue has been taken away. And if we go back to our dashboard, F5 to refresh, you'll see this switched from two issues to one issue. So that gives you a way to get in and kind of see what's going on and, and take care of any issues and mark them as resolved. Um, at, in future versions of this, I'm going to add some functionality here to make it so that you can you know, maybe just double click this and it'll set it as resolved and ask you for a note instead of having to go in and set it the way it is. But, you know, this is version one, so just left it the way it, the way that it is. Uh, we'll make it better as we go. Last thing I wanted to show you here is the um, Pareto for all five issues. Uh, this Pareto is actually for um, a default date range. So right now it's set to all time. Um, you can set it for current year or current quarter or whatever it is that you want to see. But what it's going to do is it doesn't matter whether the issue is resolved or unresolved. It's going to draw Pareto and show you those issues kind of broken down by um, the sub-inspection that they were taking on. So this one was a safe workstation. There were four failures. This one was on the other sub-inspection, which uh, had one failure. And if you double-click on these with just like any other Pareto, if you double click, you can drill down into these and see where the where the issues were. I'm going to start with status so we can see whether these are resolved or not. And so you can see there are two resolved and two unresolved. And maybe I want to drill in one more and just see what are these questions that haven't been resolved yet um, so I can see where my problem issues are or problem areas and you know maybe put some more effort into resolving those. That allows you to get uh, some more information and see over time how your tests are doing and where you're at. Just to do a little more analytics and you know check on some trends and you know pay attention to issues that are recurring or uh, you know if there's a large amount of them on a test, you can kind of keep track of that. So thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit more about the analytics on this dashboard. And please visit our website to learn more about Gainseeker and how it can help you and your business.